This episode is going to be all about this battery installation, or I should say battery relocation for this Porsche 911. Put the battery in the smuggler's box. Garage time. The two typical locations for the battery on these cars would be the stock location up here on the front left. And then where I'm considering is the smuggler's box, which is this hole here right behind the gas tank. It goes down really low. This battery is the Odyssey 925 and it's pretty small, really no bigger than my hand in any direction. Uh, these are pretty strong batteries, definitely will start the car. No questions asked. The uh, capacity is the only thing that's kind of limited on this size. It has a capacity of 28 amp hours. That's a little less than a traditional battery, but for my car, it's not, it doesn't have any high draw components, not a lot of accessories, so this should work really well. Every modification to your car, whether it's the battery placement or any of the other things I've done, has pros and cons. Now, my decision to put it in the smuggler's box is really based on a couple things. Um, it gets the wire a little shorter to the starter. I think electrically that's important, just a little bit less resistance, a little bit less weight. It also looks cleaner. Uh, when I installed this suspension pan, there's one of the, the 74 brackets, I did not put that back on. So I'd have to make a bracket either way. If I put it in the stock location, I have to make something, or if I put it in the smuggler's box, I also have to make something too. The other consideration is weight balance. Um, putting it on the passenger side and as low as possible is good for center of gravity. It also balances out some of my weight, driver weight, and it is a reduction in what they call polar moment of inertia, which if you take the car and, and wag it around, um, putting the weight behind the axles is generally preferred. Now, some people will disagree and tell you that you need to have the weight on the Porsche. Uh, it's very far forward, like on the bumper, because there's the weight balance isn't great on these cars. Most of the weight's in the back. So people believe Porsche put the batteries in the front for a reason. Um, it's a 25 pound battery. I don't know that you're really gonna be able to feel that either way. I don't know if it's gonna make a big difference in handling. You'd have to be a really good driver, I think, to notice that kind of difference on a 2,000 pound car, if you ask me. I should have done this before the hood was installed, um, but this is definitely in my way. So I'm gonna support the hood, probably with my broom again. There we go. At least the fender's not on. So I'd like for that battery to go as low as possible, and it clearly fits in here just fine. But there is a little shelf right there that prevents it from going all the way down. Or the other option is to rotate the battery and put it down even lower. Just verified with the manufacturer and they say, yes, you can put it on its side. So let's see what happens. Maybe do something like this. Now the battery is all the way down on the bottom of the floor. It's probably a better natural fit here with it on its side, to be honest. That shelf actually helps it as opposed to, you know, keeping it up off the floor. I'm thinking of, of using those holes as potentially attachment points. There's also these two studs right there that I could potentially use. I prefer not to drill any extra holes in the car. This is the large one that came out of the car. It's just got this backing thing and then it's got this really brittle um, cardboard or, or maybe it used to be rubber. Probably it's cardboard. So uh, an undercoating there on the bottom. So I have to decide if I'm gonna reuse the stock piece or do something different. Been sketching over here on my bench. A lot of this isn't gonna make much sense. Really just kind of for me to get an idea of what I, I, I wanna try first. This contraption here, takes that one inch hole in the bottom of the smuggler's box and converts it to like a mechanical mount. So here's the body and then it's gonna have kind of a, a steel plug that gets clamped in place. That's one attachment. That's what's located right here. This is a tray that's gonna be built on the kind of the bottom of the smuggler's box floor. Two studs coming up on the side. There'll be a big U shape that really wraps around the battery and screws it down, kind of a hold down. And then this tab right here goes into the uh, cavity. The, the battery has a little pocket in there. 
that people often use for attachments. So that's really handy, the battery comes with that. I think it will become more clear as we get going and of course, I may change my mind anyways. Those two holes are where the studs will be and then this will get bent and go right inside that tab. So this is the bottom tray. Just getting this transferred to steel now and it's a little bit non-symmetric so I'm using some straight edges and rulers to kind of clean this up a little bit. There are some brackets, you can buy some brackets from Renline. Um, they're actually more expensive than the battery. I think the Renline bracket's like 190 or something. So I'm not gonna buy that bracket. Uh, nothing against Renline, but I prefer kind of a cleaner look. They kind of look like braces to me. Here we go again, another garage time bracket cutting exercise. Every time I do plasma cut, I break off the slag with this sort of homemade slide hammer. And then I take it to the bench grinder. It's got a big eight inch wire wheel on it, cleans up the edges. So that's off camera because it's in kind of a different part of the garage. I can't get my camera back there. But that's the treatment I've done on all the brackets for my car. Pretty simple process, especially for the thick metal. It really is probably the best way to go. Another nice bend, my homemade press brake. This piece fits inside that slot right there on the battery. This will be down at the bottom of the car and the battery is gonna slip over that little hook right there. This bolt is gonna be on the back side of this bracket and then you're gonna need access to it. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of clearance so we can get a wrench on it and decide to put it probably right here Now I want to make a band that goes around the entire battery. So a big U-shaped band with some flanges on the bottom. So let's get the width here. I think a two inch band would be perfect. This one's too difficult to bend because I, I don't have my uh, brake up high enough in order for the bottom to clear. So I'm just gonna bend it on the vise, it'll be easier.
this goes on like that. I did leave a little gap here so it'll clamp down on the battery. You don't want to over clamp the battery, but this will just give it a little bit of tension. Tiny space. This is muriatic acid just eating away the plating on these bolts so I can weld them to that steel plate. See those bubbles in there? While that's doing that, I need to lift the car up to get underneath to attach that base plate. Now for the little bit harder part is to attach that triangle plate to the car. That needs to be fixed to the car. So I am gonna go underneath and mark where that one inch hole is and then pull it back out. And this piece of tubing does fit inside this hole right here, which is perfect. Now I can screw in from the bottom of the car but I need to create this like crazy shoulder washer thing to keep the slop out of that hole. Some double sided tape. I'm just gonna put this on these corners. And I had to guess at the height. I'm not sure how flat the bottom of the car is. So through the bottom of the car, we got this special washer. It's, it's really just a, a thick washer with a piece of tubing welded on it. This tubing is the one that fit right through the hole. So this is gonna go through the hole in the bottom of the car, like so. And then this is gonna go from the bottom of the car into here. And that worked out really well. The screw is in place and this bracket is pretty secure to the bottom. I'm gonna add another tab on the external side so the battery doesn't get, doesn't get poked or punctured at all. This needs to go more than 90 because the bottom of the floor starts to round up. This needs to be like 110. Something like that. See how that tab fits in the little rib there on the bottom of the smuggler's box? And I think the angle here is right. If I put my square on that bottom plate, it's pretty, pretty square with the wall there of the smuggler's box. It's using some of the dentist tools here to mark the yellow. Plate going in for the last time, I hope. Here's how it looks from under the car. I still don't have the big plug in. Um, I need to repaint that. I'll, I'll do that when I repaint the bracket. This is the big shoulder bolt. This is the M, I guess that's M8, and this is M6. So two holes, one was already there in the bottom of the car. You can see that tab there in the front, how it kind of follows that rib right there in the corner. Really strong portion of the box. So now we put the U-shape on and uh, cinch it down from the top, should be good. Uh, looks like we need to trim 
a little corner off of this guy here. Let me show you. It's interfering with that big circular thing. I think that's for the uh, gas heater. So this is supposed to just drop right over the top of the battery, but it is interfering a little bit. I could probably force it in there, but it makes more sense just to trim this corner here off. There we go. Goes right through there. It's a little hard to get these started. Probably makes sense to put it on the end of a nut driver with a little bit of grease or something. See if I can do it. Oh, yeah, got it started. One side. So there's the strap wrapped around there. If you look down there, you can see where that nut is. It's pretty far down there, but not too hard. This one's a little bit more obscured by that round thing, but it's down there and everything feels really tight. Give it a shake for you guys. There's no way that is coming loose. I still need to get all the rust off of this piece and put it up underneath that battery bracket. I'll pull everything apart again and paint it all black and make it look as good as I can. But let me know what you think. You know, who wears that better? The Renline bracket or this one? Leave me a comment below. Let me know. Take care. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.